Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to take a look at PAR and my Ecotech Radeon schedule. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Now, two of the most common questions I've been getting over the last month or two is what part do I keep certain corals at and what is my Ecotech Radeon schedule? So today I figured I would share that with you. In the past, I know I posted my old one from EcoSmart Live. Um, now I know that doesn't port directly into Mobius. So I'm gonna export my Mobius schedule. Thanks, so if you guys wanna use my exact schedule, you guys can grab it and use it as well. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, just to kind of show you how my schedule is currently. So it does ramp up. Um, and it goes to about four hours of more of a bit of a, a whiter, crisper look throughout the day. And I do appreciate that whiteness. Uh, I also think of it as a little more intensity, a little more par. Um, I really like the color rendition personally, but I also feel that a little bit of like cooking or extra intensity helps bring a little more coloration in the corals. So we have that for about four hours, and then it goes into something that's similar to more of the AB plus type of look. I may have added a smidge more white in that one. Uh, that might actually be straight up AB plus. I have that for the rest of the day, and then we have a ramp up and down on either side of it. Um, so we'll take a quick look at some of the par at a couple different points in the schedule, just to give you guys a rough idea. And for that, we'll be using the good old Apogee MQ510. Uh, now this guy is actually kind of made for LEDs, so this is kind of why I've always chose this meter. They do have another one, slightly cheaper one, but it's not as tuned to the blue LEDs. So they'll both do the job. They're, honestly, they'll probably get you close enough, but this one gets you a little bit closer, so why not? So just taking a look right at the front here. So this guy, we got our pink Cadillac. And now this is the AB plus spectrum. So this is the lower intensity part of the day. And he's getting around 230 par. Uh, we got this big blue stag. He's getting around 240-ish. If I come up here, we got orange passion. Yeah, it's only getting about two, little over 200 right there. Come over to the front of the tank. Guy's getting about 180. Come down here. I'm getting about 230. If I come over here to Pink Lemonade, he's getting about 240, 230 to 250 bouncing around with the waves. Um, now the ACAN area, they're getting a little lower. They're getting about 170. Now what I actually did on that very far light is you can adjust the max fan speed. I actually lowered it and what will happen if the fan isn't spinning fast enough to cool it it'll actually th thermal throttle itself so i actually kind of use that as a little bit of a hack to make that right run a little bit lower than the rest of them still on the same schedule all right so now let's go to kind of my cooking higher intensity period of the day now look at this guy is now getting about three 350 par i think we we're about 280 before so nice little boost um this guy is now getting Yeah, same thing, about 330, 350 is bouncing around. Come over here to this guy, he's now getting uh, roughly about 280, 300. It's funny this one's a bit lower because it's higher, but it's also, I think, just because it's not getting the intersection of light. Yeah, so he's getting about 330. Red Planet in the front is getting about 400 par. Uh, Palmer's Blues getting around 320. So you can see most of the tank, I kind of have it in that three, 250 to 350 on average. You know, highest point, I kind of quick search was around 400. Um, lower points in the day, a lot of them are around that 220, 250-ish. So it kind of depends. So we got our four or so hours of higher par, and then the rest of the day lower. Now, I think I only have my whole overall schedule at about 80%. So, I mean, there's still about 20% if I really wanted to boost it up. But overall, the colors are great and things are happy. So I think it's doing well. All right. So if you click that link to the schedule, save it somewhere on your phone. In my case, it could be on the iCloud drive or locally or save it to Dropbox or wherever you want it to be. And now from there, we go to templates and pick your sunrise and sunset time. So mine was 930 to 10 roughly. So I'll put it to about to the same and hit the set button. Now, you see all your normal schedules from Ecotech on the front. By the top, we're going to click on User. Now, from there, you hit the plus sign, and then you can browse and open wherever you that load that schedule from. Once you load it, it's going to show up in this user list. So, Reef Dudes AV Plus Special. So, that's what I called it. So, I'm going to hit that one. Now, I'm going to click Activate in the top right. And the schedule is now applied to the tank. So, I go to Edit it. You can see the full schedule in there. So, super easy kind of way to program it. 
So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to run the same schedule as me, feel free. Let me know what you think of it. I've been running this one for about four or five months now, and I do love it. it has that kind of a couple hours of peak higher part. Otherwise, the rest of the day is kind of the standard issue AB plus look. And it gives you that nice variety of super crispness and just like good color pop throughout the day. So it's actually really easy to import a schedule. So I'm hoping you guys try it out. Um, if you do, let me know what you think of it. For me, I've been super happy with this schedule. I think my extra couple hours of the day, like the cooking high noon period, nice crispy whites. I personally think it looks awesome and the corals are seeming to get really awesome color lately. And I do kind of attribute part of it to that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are running it, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you think of it. Um, if you guys get any kind of weird Bluetooth errors or, or little hiccups as you're importing or doing stuff, programming it, I have had them once in a while and what I've done is literally just unplug and plug the device back in, like the lights, fix it, works right away. So a little workaround, if that does happen to you, super easy fix. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed it as always. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, um, and I will catch you guys on the next video.